Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. A O N L, that's All in Law. And today's topic of uh, um, discussion is uh, what he calls Duke Criteria. Duke Criteria. I'm going to talk, this is the USMLE Pearl, USMLE Pearl, USMLE Pearl, and this, I'm going to talk very briefly, and this, just remember the important points, because if you, if, if you learn these things by the video, and I'm sure you will remember for a longer time, let's talk about the Duke Criteria, Duke Criteria. So we have uh, two important things that's a major condition or major criteria and the minor criteria. Okay. So the major criteria and the minor criteria. What does it include in the major criteria is the in the major criteria the components that it should have the two important things. One is at least two separate positive blood culture for a typical organisms okay two positive two separate okay positive blood culture on a two separate occasions okay two separate uh, positive blood cultures for a typical organism persistent bacteria with uh, what you call any organisms or a single culture of single culture of blood culture of what you call coxella bonete remember a single culture single positive culture of coxella bonete bonete Okay, if it should be a single or a typical organism shows a two cult two separate cultures, then it says the major criteria and the coxella bonetti only single one culture. That's it. Okay, now let's talk about the second important major criteria. This there is evidence of what you call endocardial involvement. Endo. Endocardial involvement. Um. Uh, through what you call the TEE, if TEE that is a transesophageal echocardiography, TEE, or any new murmur, okay, new murmur, right? There are two important major criteria you should look for. The blood culture, two separate occasions, is positive, or a single blood culture of coxella bonetti is positive, or endocardial involvement. Uh, through the what you call uh, confirmed to the TEE or an, in, if you hear any new murmur okay so let's talk about the minor the minor are let me draw a line over here okay in the minor the imp five important points the first is look for any predisposing risk factor Okay, and second thing, look for the fever if the temperature is if the temperature is equals to or more than thirty eight point three degrees centigrade. Okay, and the third important minor criteria is the vascular phenomenon. The vascular The vascular involvement like septic emboli, septic infox, what's called mycotic aneurysms, or Janovus lesion, lesions, okay? And then we have the fourth one is what you call the microbiological evidence that does not meet the major criteria. Okay. And the last in the other important minor criteria is immunological, that is glomerulonephritis, ocular nodes, or a Roth spots. Immune, you can remember. 
immunological phenomenon. So the in the binary criteria we have the risk factors, predisposing risk factors, fever equals to or more than 38.3 centigrade, uh, vascular involvement in the form of septic emboli, genital lesions, septic infox, mycotic aneurysms and the microbiological evidence that does not meet any major criteria. Then we have the immune system involvement in the form of glomerulonephritis, oscillus nodes or rot spots. Guys, this is a new criteria for endocarditis. I hope this video is really very helpful for your USML step one and a step two CK examination. Guys, please do not forget to subscribe and please do not forget to share our videos with your friends. Take care.